Maybe you asked yourself why the last few days I started the cutting gear adventure. Now I think a good reason is that cutting gears, I think, it's fun to do. And the second reason I have to practice a bit because I never learned it in school, I never did cut gears in my life. So I don't even know the theory and the calculations of it. I know nothing about it. So I thought, let's give it a try. And the second reason is I need to make change gears for my lathe. I don't have, when I bought this lathe, there were no gears, no change gears. There's only the gears that's hidden inside here. So we're gonna have a look at it. Some dude one day installed this little workbench here so I cannot open the door properly. I wonder who that might be. So this is the gear train of my lathe. But don't worry, uh, there's no power on this machine. I pull the plug out so nothing can happen and these are the only gears I have and there's a problem with this one I already took it apart this is the main gear on the spindle so it's the the main shaft that goes through I suppose everybody knows that and this gear has a serious problem Let's go to the workbench and have a look at it. I hope you can see it, but here these teeth are eaten. It's completely worn. I don't know what happened to it. When I bought the lathe it was uh, already like this. And we see also this coloration, which means that these teeth are hardened. Now my plan is to make a new one like this. My idea is to reuse the same shaft that I used uh, last time. Of course, it's not uh, fixed uh, yet on, on this table. But because of this boring is much bigger than this uh, shaft here, I'm gonna make a sort of sleeve that will fit here. And then make an, another sleeve because I'm gonna use this one as a template. I'm gonna mount it here. Or maybe the other way, we'll see. And then make a nice and rigid finger that goes in the teeth and with a spring-loaded uh, thing. Uh, I, I don't know yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. And this is probably what I'm gonna use. I couldn't find a smaller, the height, but that will be okay. Um, there's way too much material, so I'm gonna make a lot of chips with it, but uh, for the moment, this is all I could find. And then my idea is with this thing, put it in the lathe, turn it down on this inside diameter, drill and tap this one, and then I can fix this one, which will be the one I'm making, of course, on here, and then work the outside. And after when I don't need it anymore, you see this already, holding it, I will make the two sleeves that goes one of course in this one and the other side I will cut it in two goes in this one. Now to cut it on the shaper I thought maybe do it in two passes because for my little machine this is gonna be a big cut so this one I used last time if I re-grind it, I can go to the bottom, but it doesn't make the perfect V. And then I can grind a new tool that will have the perfect model of the perfect form of this uh, teeth and make the finishing cut. So this one I'm gonna do probably in two cuts. First thing to do is turn this thing down to 33 millimeters. First I'm gonna face up, clean up this face, turn it around and cut the other side. That will be easier to do. 
and it will be nice and square. And that's where this uh, cross feed system would be really handy to have. Of course, this machine doesn't. So, this is hand feeding. In theory, I'm ready to put this part here. I made this uh, special little washer that goes in here to hold it all together and work the outside diameters. But I'm not gonna do that yet. And there's one good reason for that. For the moment, this part is way too big and now I can hold it easily in a vise to cut the key slots. So that's what I'm gonna do first. First I'm gonna make the key slot in here and after I will work the outside diameters. That is done. Okay, now let's put it in here and make us a gear blank. I know the bolt is a bit too long, but that will do. There's a lot of material to come off here. And to give it a little more support, I'm gonna center drill this bolt and then put the live center in. I think that will be better. I have a gear blank. What I'm gonna do now is uh, bore this out so we can receive this shaft here and then to make two bushings of course because this side goes here and then the shaft goes in here to hold it all together I have two bushings. Now this one, not really a problem, comes here and pushes it against this uh, shoulder 
so no movement anymore. The problem is when I put the gear blank on, it's too big, it passes over. So what I'm gonna do is drill and tap and then put a set screw in it and then it can be pushed against this uh, ring here that will hold and then do the same of course the other side with the original gear but I'm not gonna do that now I would like to have this uh, video out for the end of the week so I'm gonna stop this uh, building and we'll make the video and then continue next week so it will be a two-part video the reason why I make this uh, gear build in a two-part video is because it takes me lots of energy to do this for the moment I sleep about 14 hours a day 14 in total that's way too much but I'm so tired it's not possible to do different when I come down here I can maybe work one hour and then I have to go upstairs and rest a bit and then maybe I can come back and work one hour again if everything goes well so one or two hours a day work is not enough to make a weekly video once a week normally I go to the hospital for a checkup now the last time I had to go uh, normally when I go to the hospital it takes a half a day and I'm free a few hours and I can go home the last time I went to the hospital for a checkup I came home two weeks later because there were a little bit complications so I lost two weeks just uh, for make my video things and then when I came home I had to start again getting better and that was uh, for the morale is not really easy but we do what we can now this week I also received a little surprise the postman delivered this little package and when I opened it there were four tool blanks in it and this is 3 eighths so it's almost 10 millimeters about nine and a half so this is perfect for my lathe and shaper and it's eight percent cobalt so this is high uh, high quality uh, tool steel uh, not tool steel uh, high speed steel the problem is the only thing that was uh, included is this uh, ticket so I have absolutely no idea who sent me this I suppose it's someone who would like to see me work but I have no idea who so uh, unknown person thank you very much I appreciate it really this week I also received an email from Marcus and Marcus he mailed me in German so I may maybe suppose he's from Germany and he's asking me what it's all about the made in Germany clamps Marcus let me explain years ago I used to work a lot with this uh, square tubing and then I made this uh, square thing here that I put put in place put another one here at the right spot and then I clamp down with this kind of woodworkers clamps and I could I can weld three sides in one go because here the corner is open it's very handy now the problem with these clamps is all of them low quality this one is bent here I had to put bolt in it and you see that it's uh, bent it's way too loose here also there's a bolt in here 
still moving so this is really not good quality and all of them have the same problem and I broke some until they came across these and these work, work perfectly well this is top quality and here is marked made in Germany and it's well known all the things that are made in Germany they are quality and I mean it because uh, German machines German cars is always good quality so this is perfect and I use them sometimes on my shaper and then I say my made in Germany clamps that's all I don't want to offend anyone of course to conclude maybe one last little tip in the previous video I showed you the little trick to find the center line using this side of the drill press table now what I wanted to do was take it out and clean it up a bit in the lathe you see that now it's much cleaner so what I did I took it out and I installed it in the lathe and that's where I thought hey now I have a wonderful backing plate I don't need to make one I have one if I have parts with weird shapes I can bolt it here in these slots so no need to make a new one